Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. <gasps> he found me. You can tell because he's got the, the noises, the, the, the music. It's still the same old music. No, no, stop, stop. Why are you so creepy? Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Angry Neighbor. That's right. It's been a long time since we played Angry Neighbor. Well, apparently there was a huge update for the game just a couple of days ago. So I'm really excited to jump into this. In case you guys don't know, Angry Neighbor was one of the first, if not the actual first Hello Neighbor ripoff game that we ever played on the channel. And it went crazy. Like the first video went viral and everybody really liked it. So I was really excited to see that it got updated yet again. So we're going to check out what's new what's different of course we're gonna see the one and only stanley which is the name that we've given him in case you you haven't been keeping up with the lore of angry neighbor i'm really excited so let's check it out let's first grab the key and uh, i i forget the buttons okay that's how you grab the key okay good to know it seems to look a little bit nicer the colors seem to be a little bit more vibrant that could also be the tablet though because keep in mind i'm playing on a different tablet than i used to play on so that might be causing the differences that i'm seeing but maybe not what is the sun doing you see this what what, what is happening to the sun the, this, someone turned the sun off. Someone turned the sun on. It's very strange. I like the lens flare effect. It's very, very neato. Neato mosquito. Did I really just say that? Anyways, let's uh, let's go over here. And get this guy open. I, I really don't remember the controls. I think one of them is for opening stuff, and then the other one is for interacting with items. I don't remember, though. This is different. Oh, my gosh. This looks so much cooler. Okay. So, so we did that. We turned the power on i think so now we probably need to get our key and just unlock the door i just wanted to see if there was any kind of like tutorial type stuff that was telling us what to do there wasn't so i'll figure it out i think it's pretty obvious we need to open the door open open the door there we go okay now open the door and now we are inside and we can go sleep and whoa wait a second was there always a window and a picture of a weird cat up here i don't think there was <laughs> i'm pretty sure this is all different and of course the old stale uh big mac just sitting there because why not you always got to eat mysterious hamburgers that have been sitting in a house that you just bought okay let's go sleep yes okay so now we can actually go into stan's house and i'm very excited to do so but first let's check out our house a little bit more let's do a little bit more exploration of course we've got this going on over here i wonder can we still move the couch no they changed it so there used to be a red key behind the couch you could you could interact with it and slide it and then there was a red key over there there isn't anymore hmm quite mysterious indeed so we're gonna have to find the red key we're also gonna have to use the hammer to remove those planks i don't know if there's anything else in our house it doesn't really look like it our house is very boring very lame of course we've got the weird spy room up at the top but we can't get access to it yet let's just go over to the back there's nothing over here there's nothing okay and there's only one more thing left to do and that is to go into stan's house and say hello to our dear friend stanley one of the neighbor's first brothers maybe he's his oldest brother i don't know oh stan i saw you for a second there where, where are you at buddy where are you He's so weird looking though. I wonder if they changed any of his animations. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. He definitely looks a lot better than he used to. Are you gonna run all the way over to my house? Please don't run all the way to my house. That's gonna be very, very weird. He doesn't run all the way to my house. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. We used to be able to run him all the way over here and then he'd just like lock you in the bedroom and it was very upsetting. But he used to have massive shoulders. He had some strange kind of surgery that allowed him to move his arms at one point and uh, it gave him like extra elbows he had he had more elbows than the normal human and it was very very strange he looks definitely a lot more normal than he used to i'm glad that he found a good doctor that could help him with that situation because it was very strange before you're actually sitting on the couch he's he, and there's tv sounds are you okay news reporter 
what is what is happening there's some kind of tree they're talking about i have no idea but stan you're you're sitting on the couch that's so cool oh my gosh okay yeah this is definitely a pretty significant update so far because a lot of these changes we have not seen in previous updates this is this is significant i want to get inside but stan scares me as, as you probably could imagine he, whoa you got up and you are standing right there okay he's moving this way i think yeah okay so let's see if we can get in over here and oh my gosh the boiler room what is going on can i interact with this thing i can't i can't interact with you no nothing okay that's fine dang this is very very different can I interact with this? Oh, I can. So we might have to throw something in there. I don't. I don't actually know. <gasps> he found me. You can tell because he's got the the noises, the, the the music. It's still the same old music. No, no, stop, stop. Why are you so creepy? Ugh. Stan, you and your weird tank top. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's, put some sh real shoes on, you weirdo. He still walks very strange, even though he had the successful shoulder surgery he still walks like a weirdo he's a super weirdo okay where's he going okay he's he's heading into that direction okay i want to go back into the garage what is this let's press it oh it opened the garage okay he got a new car this is way different than the car that he used to have uh can we open the trunk no we can't okay that's fine what is going on here crowbar bear trap shovel i i have no idea I don't know what's going on in here. Can I take these things? You think I can? Oh, okay. I I took the shovel and the crowbar. Can I use the crowbar to remove the two by fours that are on the door in my house? Let's try. Let's equip the crowbar. I have no idea what the shovel is for. Let's see if this works. This, that totally worked. A what? This, that's cool. And we can, we can actually swing it. You think we could hit Stan with this? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I don't think we can, but we might have to try it. Uh, okay, this is getting crazy. So before you could only remove those two by fours by using the hammer, right? There was a hammer and you just, you just smack stuff with it. So I guess we can remove the two by fours over here as well. Assuming that Stan doesn't see us. Yeah, we totally can. Okay, come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go upstairs. Let's check out the upstairs since he's not here right now. Oh, what was that? I just, I made a noise. I, I think I broke something. Did that make him mad? Stan, what's going on up here? Why is there a mailbox and a couch up here? This is weird. Whoa, what? Oh my gosh, this room. This is the room that has the weird water sound coming out of it. But now we can't actually go into it. It's just full of water. What? I have no idea. This is this is crazy. We can go in here. Is there anything going on in here? You think there's anything behind the couches? Can't really interact with them. Okay. So weird. Can we go in here? <gasps> what? Okay. This is all new. Because before, this was all completely unfinished. And the only way you could get in here was by jumping through an invisible door. I know that sounds weird, but it's it's true. It's actually true. So there is now a more completed upstairs. We've got to check out these rooms. Oh my. Oh, wow. What? A bathroom. An upstairs bathroom with poison. Of course. Yeah. And bathtubs full of... I don't know. Bleach? No, that's water. <laughs> okay. Clearly says water on the front of the bottle. Weird stuff. Weird stuff indeed. Let's continue. Can we hide in here? No? Can we? Can we close these with us inside of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can totally hide in here. I don't think you could do that before. So many changes. This update is insane. Where does this go? Oh, this drops down into... Like the room right next to the kitchen. This is right next to the kitchen. Okay, it's good to know. The layout is pretty much the same as it used to be. Is this a secret bookshelf? No, you're not special. Then I'm gonna hit you with my crowbar. Take that. Anything behind the couch? No, nothing behind the couch. Okay, can I break these? Oh my, 
Yes, you can break windows with crowbars. Should I, I guess I could just drop down here. Let's do it. Let's go, careful. Be aware of your surroundings. Let's do this. We'll hit this. Yes, okay. And then hit the button, the button. Press the button. No, there we go, okay. Oh! He got us. He got us and we immediately respawned in our house. And it's still playing the weird, angry stand music. Strange, strange stuff. Check out the cars though. What is this? 1950s suburbia. It was a weird neighborhood. It's been trapped in time or something. It's clear that Stan has been trapped in time. He's a special fella. Oh, which reminds me. So we lost our entire inventory. Does that mean? Oh, the items respawn where they, they were originally found. Very interesting. Okay. All right. We're kind of piecing stuff together, but man, there's a lot going on. It's kind of overwhelming, to be honest with you. So we want to turn the TV off. Because that, oh no, 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 okay. Anyways, turning the TV off should spawn a mannequin, at least it did in the past, that is holding a key. So let's go see if there is a mannequin. It should be not there. What is this room? There is scary noises coming from this room. I don't like it. I'm leaving. I don't, I don't like it. Mannequin. The mannequin should be over here. It is not. Oh. Okay, so either they've changed that or we just don't have to turn the TV off anymore. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh boy. Okay. There's a lot going on here. You guys, you guys are freaking me out. We should, we should check out that room. We need a box. So let's grab ourselves a box and try to break open that window. And then we can jump into that window and see if there's anything in there. Maybe by turning the TV on, it spawned those mannequins in that room. I don't know. I have no idea. It's seriously, it's like a brand new game. Like the game has changed so much. I don't know what is what anymore. Oh, also that is a giant mannequin. Okay, that's freaky. So we need to throw this. Oh, I just noticed that there's a door up there too. What? Okay, very weird. But let's just do that. And then let's see if we can get inside. Come on, come on, jump in there. There we go. Okay, yes. What is that? What is in there? Open. I just picked something up. I don't know what it is. Mannequins, stop, stop whispering at me, mannequins. I don't like it. Okay, what's in our backpack? The, what? What is this? Some kind of valve or something. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can use it on the water heater. Let's see. Let's go ahead and equip it. Can we? That did not work. I just threw it at the wall. Don't do that. Let's re-equip it. Let's see if we can do something with this. No, can't do anything there. <gasps> oh, maybe we can. Oh, you know what? Oh, I think that we could have put it on the front of that water tank. And maybe that drains the water in that weird watery room. Hmm. I think we might be onto something here. Let's grab another box. We're going to have to go back into the scary mannequin room. Assuming the mannequins are all still there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're here. They're still, they're still hanging out. Wait, my... The valve though, the valve is gone. Where'd it go? No, don't tell me it disappeared. Stan, what'd you do with the valve, dude? What did you do with it? Is it in my inventory? It's not in my inventory. You saw it for a split second and then it disappeared. Shoot, what does that mean? There used to be a problem with the game and I was really, really hoping that it would be fixed. But when you got caught with items, they would disappear. And it seems like that's still the case. And as far as I know, the only way to fix it is by restarting, which really, really stinks. I thought they would have fixed that, honestly. That's upsetting. And Stan is chasing me and I don't like it. I don't like it. He needs to stop doing that. Is the TV still off? The TV is still off. I don't know if that plays anything into this weird puzzle. Maybe that's what spawns the valve. So we need to turn it on and off again. There's definitely nothing in here. So we don't really want to go in there anymore. But maybe we need to turn the TV on and off again. Oh, good. There's Stan. He's just waiting for us. I'm going to turn it on and off. There you go. I turned it on and off. Let's see if that changed anything. Anything? Do we? No, it's not there. Shoot. We lost the valve. I don't like that. I think I have to restart. Also, why is this one plank black? That's weird. What's going on here? Mystery plank. What are you, what are you doing? 
I can't interact with it in any way. Okay. Super strange. So I think our only choice is to restart, which is a serious bummer. I don't know how to restart. There's no way to restart. Okay. You just have to restart the whole game, I guess. Slight oversight there, developers. All right. Back to the beginning. <laughs> Here we go. This is the same thing that we used to have to do. I don't understand why they didn't fix it. It's very upsetting. I don't want to have to play the game all the way through again anytime that I get caught with an item that is like critical to the game. That's very annoying. Not to mention there's no restart button. Nothing. No restart. You just gotta deal with it. Okay, so let's open the garage at the very least to kind of get ourselves sort of back where we were. Okay. So that opens up the garage and now let's go see if the red valve type thingamabobber is in this room. It is. You can see it right there in the cabinet. Okay, so we need to grab a box and then we need to get ourselves back in there. And then we need to go in here and I think that we need to put the valve right there, but I honestly don't know. I really don't know. But at the top of our list of things to do is not get caught by Stan while we are holding the valve. Because as we've learned, if that happens, the valve is gone forever. At least as far as I know, which is a real bummer. Oh my gosh. I meant to jump over the fence. Didn't happen. Not even close. All right, let's grab a box, take it with us across the street and get into that room. I'm very, very happy that they updated the game and it looks really good so far, but that like weird glitch thing where items disappear, I don't like that. That makes me upset. I thought they would fix it at this point, you know? All the time that they've put into this update, you think they would have fixed it. They didn't. All right, we have the valve. Now we just need to be very, very careful about Stan. Stan, are you, are you around here? He's not, okay, now's our chance. Can we do this? No, this isn't working. Wait, wait, maybe it, <gasps> no, 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 please stop. Please don't chase me anymore. Stop chasing me. Please don't try to jump the fence. We don't want to jump the fence. We just want to run across the street so that he stops chasing us and that we don't lose the valve. Please, I don't think he can get us now. I think we're good. We're safe. No, you go home. You go home, weirdo. Remember when Stan used to be unable to move his limbs and he just, he stood like, like a, like a T-Rex? That was fantastic. Those were good times. I don't even think his legs moved. I think he just like floated through the air. Incredible. Stanley Source Rex. He was the best. It's too bad that dinosaur went extinct. Am I right? Um, no, no, I'm not right. So what do we do with this valve? I'm very confused and I'm very scared of losing it. Oh, hey there. Hey, hey Stan, you can't see me? Can you not see me? You cannot see me. Good. Let's keep it that way. Maybe, actually, maybe this pipe right here is a clue and we need to go upstairs. Hmm. I'm gonna go for it. I'm running upstairs and let's see if we can find the uh, the like upstairs part of that of that pipe. I don't know why I just threw the, the valve. That was a dumb thing to do. No, he hears me. Uh, I can't, this door doesn't open. It's locked or just not working or something. I don't know. Just go in here. Is there more pipes over here anywhere? No, there's no pipes over here. What about this room? Oh, right, the toilet. Anything in the toilet? Oh, look at that. You can close the toilet lid. Fantastic. No, there's there's really nothing up here. Oh, wait, what if you can... <gasps> did, did you take... You... What... What is... What? <laughs> what, what happened? Wait. The valve is now permanently on my screen? What? Stan, what have you done to me? Stanley, you, you done goofed, buddy. What have you done to me? Now I don't, I can't interact with it. It's just stuck on my screen forever. Also, I did not realize that he comes upstairs. That's not cool. So we lost the valve. We don't have the valve anymore. I don't know what to do with the valve, to be honest with you. So I guess what I'm just gonna do now is go upstairs. And by upstairs, I mean, I'm gonna climb this weird tightrope to get onto the roof because that's a thing that we've done in the past. We, we need two boxes though, I think. At least we used to need two. So I'm gonna go with that we still need two. 
But I have a feeling that I'm going to need your guys' help because I am struggling to figure out what we're supposed to do at this point in the game. So I'm just going to do what I know, what worked in the past, but I have no idea if this is what we're actually supposed to be doing or not. So hopefully in a future episode, I can get some tips from you guys and figure out like what we're supposed to do with the valve, for instance. I have no idea. Also, I picked up a flashlight at some point. When did I pick up a flashlight? Anyways, let's climb the tightrope of fear and sadness. This is always a tricky one. Hey there, Stan. Yep, I'm just, I'm climbing this thing in your backyard. Don't mind me. All right, almost to the top. And then this, of course, right here is one of the trickiest jumps in the game. Just want to back up a little bit and then, whoi, there we go. And then we climb this little two by four right here. I'm glad to see that everything sort of works the way that it used to. So they haven't changed that. And then this is where we need our second box. So we'll just throw this right Perfect. Exactly where I wanted it to fall off the side of the roof. We might be able to make this jump. I've done it before. I don't like doing it though because it's it's not as consistent, but we're gonna go for it. Oh my gosh, we made it. Okay, so we made it to the very top of Stan's roof. I have no idea what this is. There's just a weird room off the side of his house. I don't even know if we can get in there. It doesn't look like you can. It's like not connected to anything. Weird. Let's uh, go to the other side of the roof. See what's going on over here. Of course, there's this. They put a cover on it. Interesting. So if we drop down there, if we can, oh, you know what? Maybe you need the crowbar to like knock that down. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll come back to it, but let's go over here first. But anyways, if you drop down there in the previous versions, uh, there was a door with a person knocking on the door trying to get out. So I don't know if that's still there. I imagine it is because Stan's a weird dude and he likes to keep people locked up in the top levels of his house. Hey, the blue cube. What's up, dude? It's the infinity cubes. Here they are. Uh, what does this one do? This one shoots like really far, right? Like you can, you can throw it really far. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. The, these, these cubes are so cool, but I don't know if there's anything else that we need to do in here. They changed the layout of this. This is, this is definitely different than it used to be. Also, I need these cubes to get me out of here. Thank you. Please let me out. Weird. Very weird. All right. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Is there any way to get in to this? You think we can? No, we can't just interact with it. It's not opening. So we might need the crowbar to get up there or get in there. I don't actually know. What is the point of this though? This is very confusing. Stan, you need to explain to me why this exists. All right, let's go over here. Ooh. Oh, we were over here. Okay, then we don't need to be over here. Interesting and confusing. I have no idea. Did we, have we seen this? What is this? Let's see if we can maybe use the blue cubes to get up there. Maybe I can get a blue cube situated in a way that'll help me get up there, please. Yes, no. Come on, you guys, cooperate. Yeah, no, don't, don't fall. Stop falling. I just, I wish I had the green cube right now because that one makes it so that you can basically fly. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I, I spawned too many. Please get out of my way. What is this? What are you? Why do you exist? Do you open? Whoa. What? It's just an empty room. Fascinating. There's nothing in here. All that work. There's nothing in here. Oh. Oh, uh, excuse me? What just happened? And what are you? Why is there just a square? I don't understand. Stan's house is so weird. Can I just phase through these doors? Okay, I think I found the incomplete part of his house. This is so weird. Is this the same thing that we, we saw earlier? Like right below us is the second floor? So we're technically on the third floor, I guess, at this point. Yeah. It's, it's super weird. Well, another empty room. Fascinating. And what is this? A, a plant growing in the corner? Sure, why not? What? What are you? Is this the closet where the gold key is? That's not what I wanted to do. Wait, what are you? Why? Oh my gosh. This is so confusing. Am I trapped? I might be trapped. I don't think there's any way for me to get out of here. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Uh, I could just bury myself in blue cubes. You could, you could always do that, but 
I don't know about this. Please, let me out. No, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like this. So yeah, as you can see, there is a lot in this game that was not here before. So I'm actually really excited to jump back in, start figuring out some of these puzzles because they've changed quite a bit. But I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I'm so excited to be back in Angry Neighbor. This update is enormous. This is probably the biggest update since the game has come out, honestly. So maybe you guys can leave some tips in the comment section below if you know what to do, if you know some of the little uh, secrets of Stan's new house. Let me know. I could use the help because now I'm stuck in a closet forever. Now I'm the guy knocking on the door. Let me out of here. And of course, if you guys want to see more Angry Neighbor, I will have a link in the description down below to the playlist of all my Angry Neighbor content. I think there's probably like six or seven videos. No, you know what? Actually, there's probably more than that. But I don't remember because it's been that long. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.